back up his record on medical issues with virtually anyone in the business. All right, so, so when, I, when I now put on my website, as I will do tonight, how his facts were wrong about the $7,000 that we spend, it's actually, I've read one report now, it's even more than $7,000 that we spend per person each year in this country. I'm going to put the real facts up there on my website so people can see what he just said was absolutely well, wrong. Well, if, if we get that confirmed, obviously we'll correct the record, uh, Sanjay, but I'm just saying. Oh, you will, so, good. Obviously, Sanjay Gupta You'll be getting is, it. Is, not only a, is not only a doctor and a neurosurgeon, but he's also an excellent, excellent mm. journalist. Uh, uh, look, I saw the yes. film, and, and, and it's a powerful, yeah. I powerful... Saw, I, saw, I saw Dr. Sanjay Gupta over there embedded with the troops at the beginning of the war. He and the others of you in the mainstream media refuse to ask our leaders the hard questions and demand the honest answers. And that's why we're in this war. We're in the fifth year of this war, because you and CNN, Dr. Gupta, you didn't do your jobs back then, and now here we are in this mess. What if you'd actually done the job on that. That's why anybody who hears anything of what you say now about uh, universal health care should question what you're saying, what you're putting out there. You didn't do the job for us with the war. You're not doing it with this issue. And I, I, just, I just wonder when the American people are going to turn off their TV sets and quit listening to this stuff. Sanjay Gupta did an excellent job covering that war. He was with the, the Navy's medical doctors and he went in and risked his life and he actually started to perform some neurosurgery you on the scene. You have to ask the questions. Was, look, uh, Why look, are we here? We're, that's the, that's the question. Why are we here in this war? Where's the weapons of mass destruction? Well, why didn't you? Why did, what did it? Why did it take you so long, Wolf, to finally take on Vice President Cheney? It took you to 2007 those, before you made the man. Those, mad are, at those you. are fair I mean, questions. It, and <laughs> and we're, four but, years. Look, let's talk a Where little. Where were you? <laughs> let's talk about Sicko. You, that, that's the film that uh, you're here oh, to talk yeah, about. Let's forget that. Uh, there's plenty. Yeah, of, okay. There's plenty of to talk about the war. There's how plenty about, to talk about just, with Sicko. Let, let's, let's I just haven't seen you in three years, so I was just well, wondering how you felt you, after three been, years of not seeing me Michael. after you trashed Fahrenheit, yeah. after you trashed Fahrenheit and said I was wrong we've, about, oh yeah, this war was, we've <laughs> invited on, you, for an Michael, apology. we've invited you on numerous occasions. Unfortunately, you've declined our invitations over these past three years, but there have been plenty of times we've asked you to come on the show, and plenty of times you've declined, really? which, is, which is, of course, and, you're and right. And you wanted to... Uh, Apologized? Or why, why did no, you want to No, we wanted to, to interview you. That's what we do on, the, on television. Uh, let, let's talk well, you about... You don't have to apologize to me. Maybe just apologize to the American people and to the families of the troops here's for a, not doing here, your job. Here's a question. Four years ago, we wouldn't be in this war which if you'd done your job. Which Come of on, the, just admit it. Just which apologize the, which to which the, the American people. Which of the presidential <laughs> candidates who are out there right now do you think would do the best job fixing the nation's health care system? Well... Uh, the Democrats have to be asked some very specific questions. Too many of them are saying, uh, well, they're for health care for all people. Uh, very few of them are being a, as specific as Mr. Kucinich is in saying, well, I support the Conyers bill in Congress, H.R. 676. That's what we need to hear. And I'd like to hear what these other Democratic candidates are going to say and do in specifics in removing the private insurance companies from the equation. We shouldn't have profit involved when we talk about taking care of people's health. Is there a candidate, though, you think, is Dennis Kucinich your candidate? Who do you think? I know that in the film no, you go after I Hillary no, Clinton, uh, and, 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 you know, you're very, very bipartisan in your criticism in the film, Democrats and Republicans. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, when you say I go after her, let's be clear. I mean, I actually think she did a very brave thing to try and address this issue 14 years ago, uh, and, and they stopped her cold. Uh, they went after her with the same kind of, you know, trash pieces I just had to watch. Uh, and, and so that stopped her. And now we've had to suffer through 14 more years of having no universal health care in this country. Our own government admits that because of the 47 million who aren't insured, uh, we now have about 18,000 people a year that die in this country simply because they don't have health insurance. Uh, that's six 9-11s every single year. And if you times that by 14... Uh, since Mrs. Clinton uh, was uh, unceremoniously uh, removed from the, the, uh, the agenda here. She hasn't been able to talk about this. She ha is, hasn't really put forth her specific plan. I'm hoping that uh, the people who have gone to my movie, the people that are concerned about this issue, 
will write to Mrs. Clinton and say, please, universal health care that's free for everyone who lives in this country. It'll cost us less than what we're spending now lining the pockets of these private health insurance companies, of these pharmaceutical companies. So there's still a chance to have some, I think, effect on uh, people like her. And of course, there's one candidate who isn't even in the race yet. Uh, I don't know if he ever will be, but he was right about the war before it began, uh, unlike CNN. Did I, did I mention that? You did. Um, and uh, <laughs> and he's, he's right about global warming, and he's right on this issue, too. Al so, Gore. Uh, right, uh, the I'm Democrats, not, by uh, and large, most of them support some sort of major health reform, in, including universal health care, which is what you support. I want you to listen to what Rudy Giuliani, the Republican Republican frontrunner said at the Republican debate that I hosted up in Manchester, New Hampshire. Listen to this. Okay. Free market principles are the only things that reduce costs and improve quality. Socialized medicine will ruin medicine in the United States. All right. What do you say to uh, Mayor Giuliani? Uh, so he's saying that he hates Medicare. He's saying socialized, socialized, medicine. socialized medicine will ruin That's medicine in the United States. We, <laughs> ask, ask a doctor if they'd rather have a Medicare patient or somebody who's got a lousy HMO. Because they know at least Medicare, will, the government will pay them, send them a check, and not have to have, fight an hour on the phone uh, just to get the $15 office visit paid for. I mean, seriously, we, we have one of the largest socialized medicine systems in this country. Uh, it's called Medicare and Medicaid. And, uh, and while it's underfunded and too much of the control of it has been handed over to private companies, uh, we've already proven that we can do things like that and Social Security and other things very well. So uh, I, I hope that he wasn't uh, attacking uh, help for senior citizens because that's what it sounded like to me. I got a whole bunch of questions. Unfortunately, we're out of time. But if you stick around, we're if, out of time. If you stick around, we're going to do see some you in more. Three years. <laughs> no, no, no. Stick around. We'll tape some more. We'll run it tomorrow. We want to make sure you get your chance. Oh no! To oh no! We see. That's the deal, Wolf. There's no taping with me, as you know. Uh, it's rare that they put me on live. And and to your credit, uh, uh, thank you for doing that. And you can see why uh, they generally don't like to have me on live uh, because um, you know a lot of that would have been cut. Out. Well, so, no, no. If thank we, you if we for could tape it, it, it will, I really appreciate we're, it. We're not going to cut a second of it out uh, if you want to tape something. You run it unedited. And we'll run okay. it unedited. And, and, people, uh, and, and